make sure you're using it as efficiently as possible and you guys saw if you saw that last video testing out the rear diff bushing uh, we were getting a, a ton of movement <laughs> from the new bushing well no not really from the new bushing at all but in the rear subframe itself there is a lot of movement actually reviewing some of the footage it almost looks like the subframe had been removed or lowered at one point and then not tightened all the way back up so i don't know what the previous owner or owners did sorry subframe we're getting a ton of wheel hop that movement is not good that can potentially lead to catastrophic failure of other components so it's it was definitely time to address the issue <laughs> So with this watch before you buy video is that I am actually giving you real-time feedback as I'm testing this product out because this is the maiden voyage for this car after installing these rear subframe bushing collars. Woo, it's a mouthful. Listening for weird noises, obviously from the installation, make sure I did everything correctly, but when you add uh, anything that adds rigidity to your uh, subframe, your driveline, anything like that, uh, there's potential for MVH, noise, vibration, and harshness. So we're listening for all of it. Right off the bat though, I can feel a difference uh, between the vehicle and the road. Um, just seems to be that we can feel a little bit of, we can feel the imperfections in the road a little bit better is what it feels like to me. Uh, it almost feels like you're more connected to the road, if that makes any sense. Um, but I haven't even gotten this car warmed up, so well, let's get some gas, we'll get a little heat in the engine, and then uh, we'll do some testing. And of course, we got some undercar footage coming as well, to see if we made any difference from the last one to this one. If you haven't had a chance, go check that before video out, Now I'll put some before clips in here too as, as well, but what side is my thing on?
think we launched at like 2,000 RPM before. to say the rear subframe bushing collars from Z1 Motorsports on the 350Z are definitely worth it. They were certainly worth it on the Q50. By this point, if you own a 350Z that hasn't had the rear subframe bushings replaced, chances are they're worn out and you're getting a lot of flex in the subframe and that's a problem when you're trying to put power to the ground effectively. So they're definitely worth the upgrade. Can you tell that they've been installed? Yes, absolutely. So I can tell, I could tell right when I pulled out of the driveway. And actually when you're going over bumps and uh, variations in the road surface, like going in and out of parking lots at a store, for example, what I, where I can really feel it is when I grabbed Starbucks this morning, going into their steep incline. Um, that's when you can hear a little bit of the difference too because you're putting these subframe collars up against the frame of the car now. So you're having metal on metal contact. Now they're tight, um, but that's when you sort of get some of that little bit of potential, little bit of potential noise. Cruising on the road and on the interstate, there's no, there's no weird vibrations or humming or noises or creaks or groans or anything like that. It's a comfortable ride when you're just driving normally. Uh, but again, you can feel the extra rigidity in the rear end, which is what you're going for. I mean, we're trying to reduce a lot of that slop, and it's not, this is an upgrade not to make the car more comfortable, it's to make the car perform better. The car just, the rear end just seems to be more planted and feel more connected to the road. It's, it's difficult to explain it in any different way. into it a little bit and just chirp the tires uh, and then hooked up that was perfect I feel like maybe launching at 2,000 rpm is maybe a little too low maybe we're not getting enough wheel speed no, uh, wheel speed and a wheel spin uh, who knows but I think overall great addition 